8.1 is saying that uh, let's prove that qs is equal to 5 tan of x right so let's go ahead and look at our sketch and see what we have here so we're looking for qs right i'm just highlighting it now in green and then uh, qs is in triangle qsr and then in triangle QST, right? Uh, but then you can see that between triangle QSR and triangle QTS, uh, we have a lot of information in QSR, right? So it will be beneficial for us to use uh, QSR instead of using uh, QTS, right? So let me just highlight triangle QSR and then we can uh solve our problem right so right now uh the thing we started with uh, we mentioned in that uh we are interested in triangle q s r right so now let's look at the information uh we have in triangle q s r and how we can use it we want q s we want uh this side here right and then opposite that side uh we have this angle right so now i'm thinking okay i can use the sign rule and then we have the angle qsr this angle here which is given and then we have a side opposite to it so uh, the bias is confirmed now we can definitely use the sign rule so the sign rule is saying that uh sine of a uh, divided by the opposite sign to that angle right is equals to sine of b divided by the side opposite that angle so in our sketch here let's say a uh, sine of x right so if we say sine of x uh, which side is opposite x uh, that is qs right it's exactly what uh, we are looking for and then uh, from there uh, that will be equals to uh, in the same triangle we have sine of 90 plus x and then divided by the side opposite that the side opposite that is qr right uh, which is equals to 5 so we're gonna have 5 uh, now let's cross multiply right if we cross multiply we're gonna get uh, 5 multiplied by sine of x being equals to qs multiplied by sine of 90 plus x sine of 90 plus x uh, that is uh, cos x right and then now in order to find qs we can divide both sides by cos of x so if we do that uh, we're gonna get qs being equals to 5 multiplied by sine of x divided by cos of x and this will be equals to 5 uh, multiply by so we know that sine of x divided by cos of x that will be tan of x and it's exactly what we are required to prove now we can look at 8.2 right let me just clear a few things on the sketch so that we can have a bit of clarity now when we look at uh, 8.2 the question is saying that let's prove that the length of qt is equals to 10 sine of x so we want qt to be equals to uh, let me just write it here 10 sine of x right and then uh, what information do we have we have qs so we know that qs is 5 uh, tan of x but then we are told that is indicated in our sketch that qs is equals to ts right so here for ts we are also going to have 5 uh, tan of x now that we are aware of the fact that qs is equals to ts then if this angle here is x this angle here should also be x right so um what will this angle here be 180 minus 2x right sum of angles in triangle so we can say that uh, that will be 180 minus uh, 2x right uh, let's not lose the plot of uh, what we do in here we want qt to be close to 10 sine of x we have this angle here which is opposite qt and then uh, apart from that we can use this angle and this side or this angle and this side it won't really matter because those two are equals to each other right so now again uh, we can stick to the gospel we've been preaching so we can say that sine of a divided by a is equals to sine of b uh, divided by b so now we're going to say that sine of uh so we say that that angle is 180 minus 2x right so we're going to say that sine of uh, 180 minus 2x 
divided by uh, the side opposite that angle which is qt so here we have qt will be equals to uh, so we can take uh, this angle here so we're gonna say that sine of x divided by uh, the side opposite that angle which is st right uh, that is 5 tan of x right even if you take the other angle you get the same thing because those two sides are equals to uh, each other right so let's carry on and see what we can do here right so sine of 180 minus 2x right so uh, we move in into the second quadrant and we know fully well that our sine is positive on the second quadrant so we're gonna have um, sine of 2x divided by qt being equals to sine of x um, divided by 5 tan uh, x so now we can cross multiply if we do that we get qt multiply by sine of x will be equals to 5 uh, tan of x multiply by sine 2x right so uh, dividing both sides by sine x in attempt to find qt when i have qt is equals to 5 tan of x multiplied by sine of 2x divided by uh, sine of x right so now uh, we have tan of x which we can change to uh, sine divided by cos right uh, but then we also have sine of 2x right which we can change to 2 sine of x cos of x right uh, that's the identity so if we do that we're gonna have qt being equals to 5 uh, instead of tan of x we have sine of x divided by cos of x multiplied by 2 sine of x cos of x and then we divide in everything by uh, sine of x it's easy to see now that uh, sine of x and sine of x there we go and then we have cos of x uh, canceling out with cos of x so qt now we just left with um, 5 multiplied by sine of x multiplied by 2 and uh, just like uh, what we're looking for qt is equals to 10 sine of x right and then now we can uh, conclude by doing 8.3 so 8.3 is saying that uh, let's look for the area of triangle TQR. So we're looking for the area of triangle TQR, right? So before we even look at our sketch, let's talk about the area first. So the area of uh, some triangle TQR, right, uh, will always be equals to uh, 1 divided by 2 side 1 multiplied by side 2 multiplied by sine of the angle right uh the problem is here with this angle which angle are we talking about it is the angle sandwiched by the two sides right the angle sandwiched by the two sides so in this uh, triangle tqr uh, they're telling us that uh the angle tqr is uh 70 degrees right and then they see that x is equal to 25 so now let's pay our attention um to our sketch so this angle here tqr they saying that it is 70 uh, degrees right so in order to find uh the area of this triangle we can use uh, the two sides that sandwich that angle which two sides sandwich that angle qt and qr right so we can say that uh, the area of that triangle will be equals to a half multiplied by qt multiply by qr and then uh, multiply by sine of uh, t q r and then if we do that we're gonna get a half multiplied by qt so what is qt qt is 10 uh sine of x right but then x is given to us now as 25 degrees so we can just substitute that 25 degrees multiply by uh qr qr uh, it was initially given to us we know that it is uh five right so that will be multiplied by five and then multiply by sine of tqr tqr is 70 degrees right so we just put that there and if you put that in your calculator you'll get 9.93 uh, uh, some units that we don't know squared 